Travis Kelsey takes girlfriend Taylor Swift to get a manicure in New York City. On Monday, October 14, Travis Kelsey was seen in a gray t-shirt and a black hat waiting for his girlfriend Taylor Swift to get out of the car, while Taylor Swift looked pretty in a light blue dress. The couple held hands as they entered a nail salon at Swift's Tribeca Mansion in 3.3 miles. Kelsey's thoughtfulness in helping his girlfriend get out of the car quickly was pointed out by fans as he was a real gentleman. Monday marked the fifth day of Swift and Kelsey's sweet vacation in New York City. On Sunday afternoon, Travis Kelsey was also seen holding a phone bag in his hand walking in front of Taylor Swift's Tribeca Mansion. Some people also commented that Kelsey was thoughtful when he was buying his girlfriend a new phone, another person said. Kelsey also looks very tech-savvy, it's a new release. In the last five days Swift and Kelsey have set the longest reunion since they went public with their relationship last year, hopefully they will have an even longer vacation before the couple returns to their busy work schedules. In her life, Taylor Swift has accomplished things way greater than dating the boy on the football team. But that won't stop people from obsessing over her romance with Travis Kelsey, it all started when the 34-year-old NFL player revealed that he attempted to give the 34-year-old pop star his number via a friendship bracelet during a stop on the era's tour. I was disappointed that she doesn't talk before or after her shows because she has to save her voice for the 44 songs that she sings, Kelsey said during a July episode of his New Heights podcast, which he co-hosts with his brother. Jason Kelsey. So I was a little butt hurt I didn't get to hand her one of the bracelets I made for her. He added, she doesn't meet anybody, or at least she didn't want to meet me, so I took it personal. Well, according to the celebrity rumor mill, Taylor Swift wasn't averse to meeting Travis Kelsey after all. She accepted his offer to attend a Kansas City Chiefs game on September 24, and things have moved fairly quickly from there. The power couple has now given us many sweet moments, from date nights in NYC to Kelsey's gushing about Swift on his podcast, and showed how much they support each other's careers. Swift and Kelsey reached a new level of cute when Taylor mashed up three super romantic songs during her concert, bringing fans to tears. For the first time in 16 years, Swift performed Mary's song from her debut album. The deep cut has come to represent Swift and Kelsey's relationship to many fans thanks to a particularly prophetic lyric, which she made sure to include in the surprise song mashup with Everything Has Changed and So High School, a song largely believed to have been written about Kelsey. I'll be 87, you'll be 89, Swift sang with a knowing smile, per fan recordings. While both Kelsey and Swift were born in 1989, the 34-year-old NFL player wears the number 87 on his Chiefs jersey in honor of his older brother Jason Kelsey. Insiders open up about the state of their relationship. Spoiler, it's good. They really are very, very happy together, a source tells People. They're very serious about each other, and the relationship feels different for both of them. They have so much fun together, and it just works, they added. It's funny to their friends because at first everyone wondered what they had in common, but you realize how similar they are. They both wear their hearts on their sleeves and are all in with everything they do, whether it's career, family, or friends. Heading into football season, the insider says, the pair are gonna make it work, the era's tour doesn't wrap until December. Football is definitely still, Kelsey's, priority but so is his relationship. He makes romantic gestures to show he's thinking of her when they're apart. She's going to try to attend as many games as possible. After attending a teammate's wedding, Kelsey flies to Dublin to surprise Swift at her show, arriving mid-concert, to the singer's delight. Like the supportive boyfriend that he is, Kelsey flew to Paris, it's the city of love, after all, to see Swift perform the last of four eras tour shows in the French capital, per people. Fans on X posted a video of Kelsey, along with noted Swift bestie Gigi Hadid and boyfriend Bradley Cooper, enjoying the show from a private box, Kelsey's coaches on the Chiefs have started spilling the tea on the early days of trailer. On the Sports Shop with Reese and K-Mac podcast, Kansas City coach Dave Merritt said that Swift had been quietly coming to support her man before she was on the Jumbotron at every NFL game she attended. 
When she started to come around, it was privately, Merritt said, per us weekly. She was coming into the stadiums without people really knowing until the camera put a big spotlight on it. You don't need to be a master lip reader to hear Kelsey tell Swift I love you after his playoffs win. In videos posted to social media, as Kelsey approaches Swift on the field, you can hear him say, Tay, I'm gonna go enjoy with the guys. Love you, before going in for the hug. At the Chiefs vs Ravens playoff game that sent the Chiefs to the Super Bowl. Swift was spotted wearing a few pieces of especially meaningful jewelry. Per page 6, Swift was wearing a ring with a miniature version of Kelsey's jersey on it, given to her by Donna Kelsey, perhaps the ultimate signal that she's gained Mama Kelsey's approval. Even more adorable, however, was the diamond friendship bracelet Swift wore, which was a gift from her boyfriend himself. The tennis bracelet featured three-letter charms reading TNT, and, according to the brand, Kelsey also purchased a matching version for himself, Kelsey wasn't the first guy on the Chiefs in Swift's life. Kelsey's coach, Andy Reid, said on the Let's Go. With Tom Brady, Larry Fitzgerald, and Jim Gary podcast that he'd actually met Swift way back in the day. Through her dad. I knew her before, from Philadelphia. Her dad, Scott Swift, played at, University of, Delaware and was a big football fan and good guy. So I had met him there and her, Reed said, per people, joking that the news didn't sit too well with Travis. So that was the last thing Trav wanted to hear, that I knew her before him. She told him, I know your coach. And he went, oh, God, come on. Swift and Kylie Kelsey, wife of Travis's brother Jason, who plays for the Eagles, sit together to watch the Chiefs take on the Bills in a playoff game. The Kelsey's parents, Donna and Ed, were also in their suite, afterward, the brothers revealed on their podcast, Per People, that this was Swift's first time meeting Jason and Kylie and she absolutely loved them. Jason also noted that his wife wasn't too happy with his decision to take his shirt off. She was already telling me to be on my best behavior cause we were meeting Taylor, so she's like, do not. Be on your best behavior, he said. I was like, Kylie, the first day I met you I was blackout drunk and fell asleep at the bar. This is part of the charm. This is part of the Jason Kelsey charm. I wanna make my best first impression. On the field Travis celebrated scoring a touchdown with the heart hands gesture, which Swift does, like, all the time. Later, Kelsey explained that he was sending the heart energy to the Buffalo Bills fans who had gotten a little worked up. Had to spread the love. Baby, Kelsey said of the gesture on New Heights, per Yahoo. Always got to spread that love, baby. There was a lot of hate pulling up to that stadium, man. I, understand. Coming into their house, they want to make it rowdy. Did it get a little disrespectful? 1000%. They got a little extra. Coming into a hostile environment, I respect it. But I just wanted to make sure they knew it wasn't mutual. I don't hate you guys like you hate us. It's all love, baby. Everybody, hold your horses, please. In contrast to the they'll be engaged any minute rumors running rampant through the press, a source tells people, they're having a lot of fun, but they're still seeing where it goes. Sounds nice. Swift brave sub-zero temperatures to watch the Kansas City Chiefs defeat the Miami Dolphins. Despite the cold weather, this may be her cutest game day appearance yet. Wearing a custom 87 puffer coat by fellow NFL WAG Kristen Yushtik, the pop star can be seen handing out high fives from her suite, vibing with Donna Kelsey, singing along with Garth Brooks, and practically tackling close friend Brittany Mahomes during an exciting moment. Swift and Kelsey are both nominated for People's Choice Awards, with Swift picking up noms in five categories and Kelsey earning his first nomination for Athlete of the Year. While out to dinner with the Kansas City Chief star tight end at the Italian restaurant Torisi in New York City, 